Sharon Burning with us right now, and Sharon's an artist, the Fippin Western Art Show and Sale, but she's also, Tanya, a gold medal winner. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. Tell us about winning a gold medal. Oh my goodness, it is a huge step in my career. Um, the piece back here is the one that won the award. I was uh, with what I'm with Western Artists mm -hmm. of America, and this is the first time a woman has taken the gold in this kind of in this particular organization, correct? Yes, it is. Uh, this takes place in Corsicana, Texas, at mm -hmm. the Pierce Museum there, mm -hmm. and I was just absolutely honored to take the gold. And it had to been uh, how many entries? Uh, to take the gold? There were probably um, over 200 pieces of artwork. This and I'm not sure breaking that down how many were yeah. oils or... Yeah. This is the Western Artists of America show and sale. Yes. And how many years have they chosen winners? They are 10 years in existence. And you're going to be at the Memorial Day, Fifth and Memorial Day Western Art Show and Sale right here on the plaza that kicks off Memorial Day, correct? Correct. And you'll be showing uh, many of your pieces. Uh, this is That's the oil? Gold. Is that yes, oil? Yes, I work That's, in oil. You work in oil mm -hmm. only? Yes. Okay. And this piece you have with you is uh, a lovely piece. I like this one. I, now, this is my favorite. I think that is just, I like the look on her face. I like the expression that you have caught. I really like that. Let's tilt that forward just a little bit there and get the glare off. There you go. Nice. Nice shot of that. Uh, your inspiration, Sharon, uh, Western family, uh, ranch family, why Western art? Usually you don't see women even in the field, let alone a gold medal. I was raised here in Arizona. And this was the native culture was part of my upbringing. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was photographer, and he loved to uh, he took us all around the west as as children. Mm -hmm. And he was uh, always shot the landscape, but for me, it was always the people, mm -hmm. the people that were there. I was so in awe of all of the native uh, dress and so forth, the beautiful mm -hmm. turquoise and, mm -hmm. and the velvets and all of this. So the, the Native Americans have been your primary focus? Yes, yes. Um, grew up, the treasures we had at home were all from Native American artists. So it's just uh, my love and passion now. Self-taught, always drawn as a child? Yeah. Started uh, painting uh, about the age of eight. I did my first little Native American girl. And she was about the same age I was. My mother had sent me to uh, a local... Um, artist was giving art lessons. Mm -hmm. So I took a watercolor class and from then on I knew I wanted to be an artist. This looks like a photograph, I must say. It's just absolutely breathtaking. I like this one very much and it's so colorful. Thank you. How, do you, how did you go about picking the one that you would enter? Um, we were allowed to show six pieces and then the jury team would go through the museum and through each category and choose between all the pieces that we would have showing. Sharon, oils, you work in oils. Now, why there's a blending capability with oils more than I think you have with acrylics. Is that one of the reasons? Uh, what draws you to the oil? Because artists have a very definite opinion on both mediums. We do. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I can tell I, you do. <laughs> I like the oils. I can actually play in them. Actually, it's going back to uh, very early paintings. I mean, my true love is um, Baroque period. Um, oh, yeah. You know, the all of that. Masters. The old world masters. Mm -hmm. And that's th some of the technique that I use in the layering and the glazing. You, know, you can see that a bit in there because the old world masters, it was very clean, crisp lines. And you have very clean, mm -hmm. crisp lines in that painting. Thank you. Yes. Sharon, uh, what, what does this mean to you now since you've got the gold medal? Are you, are, are you people becoming more aware of your talent? Yes, and the, what I'm really excited is, is about is that, um, you know, this will open the door and, and opportunities for other uh, museums and galleries also. Mm -hmm. Have you shown at the Fippin before? I, I, I forgive me because I did not research that. This actually is my tenth year for okay. showing. So you've been here many times. Yes. Before. So I have quite a good collector base built up here. What is it about the Fippin that uh, draws and it's a jury show, as we know. Of it course. is. It's a it's a fun event. This is my venue. It's all the the Western art that comes together, 
and uh, they put on an absolutely beautiful show. Well, yes. and they've done such marvelous mm -hmm. work with the Fippin now with all the new improvements and the bigger gallery. Oh, yeah. It's got to be uh, very impressed. You've got to be impressed with that. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think the whole state is and all the mm -hmm. visitors that we get. Seeing more of your offerings? These are pieces that uh, were part of my solo exhibition at the Pierce Museum. Mm -hmm. And were these in the six that you submitted or? No, no? this was a solo exhibition okay. that, that I had. Um, was honored to have a solo exhibition mm -hmm. there. Which is unusual, again, is that unusual for a woman? Um, we're, we're breaking into the, <laughs> the world here. <laughs> It, it is strange how we do when we think of Western art. I never thought about this before until you sat down and we started talking. Uh, knowing, though, that when I think Western art, I think of male artists. I just, mm. just naturally think of male artists, and, and I, don't, I don't know why. I guess because they are more prominent and have been recognized more than the women in this field. Uh, next step, you've taken the gold. Uh, you, you, can you take it again? Yes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Just makes she's going work, to. <laughs> yeah, it just makes me work even harder then. In this economy, uh, are you still, is, there, is art still a, a, a wanted, in, wanted item and is the price staying stable for art? I'll tell you, I have been absolutely blessed that within the last two years have been my very best year so mm. far. I notice, I do not notice it. Um, there's just a lot of us that uh, can still make, you know, our living. Mm -hmm. People are still investing mm -hmm. in fine art. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Because it is a substantial, mm -hmm. secure investment, I, yes. I would imagine. A title for the one that uh, was, is that the, I, this is, I saw, I saw an, an eagle, eagle fly. fly. Okay. okay, and now entitling them, oh, where mm -hmm. does that come from? My heart. <laughs> oh, okay. Good enough from, answer. From knowing, this actually, with Aaron, his uh, grandfather is a very famous, world-renowned um, artist and musician. Mm -hmm. And this was a title of one of the pieces that he did for um, President Reagan. Um, so the whole family has this huge, distinguished background. Mm -hmm. And Aaron's mother tells me, she says, you know, Aaron will be, be the next Doc, Doc Tate one day. Yeah. Wow. wow. How impressive. What a pleasure to have a gold medal winner on our program. Well, thank, thank you, Sharon, you very so much, much for having for being, me. You're very, very welcome. When we come back, uh, we're going to talk to the track announcer. You have a buy downs, as Tanya promised. But first, Tanya's going to let you know about a gold medal as far as we're concerned in a place called the Charlotte Hall Museum. Charlotte Hall Museum. It is a family-friendly heritage, and it is a museum that you cannot miss. If you are a visitor to our area, you must see the Charlotte Hall Museum. If you live here and never have been to the Charlotte Hall Museum, shame up on you because it is a premier museum in the state of Arizona. And you can find everything from our history to updated classes. Everything is right there at the Heritage Museum for you. The fair will recreate the 19th century Arizona village. This will be the 38th annual Folk Arts Fair June 4th and 5th on the museum campus.